The automotive industry is experiencing a significant shift towards electric vehicles EVs, due to their environmental benefits and a growing demand from consumers. However, Ford CEO Jim Farley has recently garnered attention by expressing his reluctance to fully embrace this trend. While some may view the stance as counterproductive or regressive, there are compelling reasons behind Farley's decision. This article will delve into the genius reasoning behind his refusal to switch over to EVs. Jim Farley's refusal to solely focus on EVs is rooted in the belief that a balanced approach is crucial for long-term success. Rather than completely abandoning traditional internal combustion engine vehicles, Farley recognizes that there is still a substantial market for them. By maintaining a diverse product portfolio that caters to different consumer preferences, Ford can continue to capture a significant share of the market while simultaneously investing in EV technology. Another key factor in Farley's decision is the need to protect Ford's existing revenue streams. ICE vehicles have been the backbone of the automotive industry for decades, and they continue to generate substantial profits for companies like Ford by gradually transitioning to EVs instead of abruptly abandoning ICE vehicles. Ford can ensure a smooth financial transition while still meeting the changing needs of consumers. One of the biggest hurdles for widespread EV adoption is the lack of adequate charging infrastructure. Jim Farley understands the limitations and challenges associated with charging infrastructure, particularly in certain regions and developing countries. By maintaining a focus on ICE vehicles, Ford can continue to serve customers in areas where charging infrastructure is still in its early stages. This approach allows Ford to be accessible to a broader customer base while simultaneously investing in charging infrastructure development for future EV expansion. Ford, like other major automakers, has made significant investments in its current manufacturing facilities and supply chain for producing ICE vehicles. Shifting entirely to EVs would require substantial capital investments to retool factories and retrain the workforce. By continuing to utilize existing investments, Farley can ensure a higher return on investment while gradually integrating EV production into existing facilities, minimizing destruction and optimizing resource utilization. Jim Farley's refusal to switch over to EVs is not solely driven by financial considerations, but also by a customer-centric approach. Farley understands that not all customers are ready or willing to switch to EVs due to factors such as affordability, range anxiety, and charging infrastructure concerns. By offering a range of vehicle options, including both ICE and EVs, Ford can cater to a wider range of customer needs and preferences, ensuring that no customer is left behind during the transition to a more sustainable future. Rather than isolating itself from other automakers and tech companies, Ford under Jim Farley's leadership emphasizes collaboration. By partnering with other industry players and harnessing collective expertise, Ford can accelerate the development of EV technology and overcome the challenges associated with it. This collaborative approach allows Ford to tap into a global network of innovators, enhancing the company's ability to deliver cutting-edge products to the market. While it may seem contradictory that Jim Farley's refusal to switch to EVs is rooted in environmental concerns, there is a method to his thinking. Farley understands that a complete shift to EVs requires a comprehensive infrastructure overhaul including sustainable energy sources for charging. By focusing on the gradual transition, Ford can collaborate with energy providers and work towards ensuring a sustainable and renewable energy supply to power EVs. This approach enables a more holistic and environmentally friendly shift to electric mobility. The automotive industry has accumulated decades of expertise in designing, engineering, and manufacturing internal combustion engines. Jim Farley recognizes the value of preserving this knowledge within Ford. By continuing to produce ICE vehicles alongside EVs, the company can retain its skilled workforce and ensure that the knowledge and expertise gained over the years are not lost. This strategic decision not only helps maintain the company's competitive advantage, but also facilitates a smoother transition to EVs by leveraging existing experience. Flexibility to adapt to market dynamics, the automotive industry is constantly evolving and market dynamics can change rapidly. Jim Farley's refusal to switch entirely to EVs demonstrates a commitment to flexibility and adaptability. By maintaining a diversified product lineup, Ford can respond more effectively to changing consumer preferences, market demands, and regulatory landscapes. This approach allows the company to remain agile and adjust its strategy as necessary, ensuring sustained growth and relevance in a dynamic industry. 
Affordability remains a significant barrier to widespread EV adoption. Jim Farley recognizes that transitioning entirely to EVs could potentially limit accessibility for consumers with lower purchasing power. By offering a range of vehicle options, including more affordable ICE vehicles, Ford can cater to a broader customer base while working towards making EVs more accessible and affordable through technological advancements and economies of scale. This strategy ensures that Ford remains inclusive and serves customers across different income segments. Transitioning to EVs requires substantial resources, including raw materials like lithium, cobalt, and rare earth elements. Jim Farley's refusal to switch over entirely to EVs acknowledges the importance of resource allocation. By optimizing the use of available resources, Ford can contribute to sustainable practices while minimizing the impact of resource scarcity. This approach also allows the company to explore alternative solutions, such as advanced hybrid technologies that bridge the gap between ICE vehicles and full electric mobility. While the overall trend is shifting towards EVs, there are still niche markets and segments where ICE vehicles hold a competitive advantage. Jim Farley's refusal to abandon these markets allows Ford to maintain a strong presence and capitalize on its expertise in specific vehicle categories, such as trucks and SUVs. By continuing to cater to these segments, Ford can leverage its brand reputation and customer loyalty, reinforcing its competitive edge in niche markets while expanding its EV offerings in other segments. Jim Farley recognizes that a successful transition to electric vehicles requires more than just manufacturing and selling EVs. It necessitates the development of a comprehensive ecosystem that supports EV ownership and operation. By continuing to produce ICE vehicles, Ford can contribute to the overall transition ecosystem by investing in charging infrastructure, service networks, and aftermarket support for both ICE and EV customers. This approach ensures that customers have a seamless transition experience and that the necessary infrastructure and support systems are in place before a full-scale shift to EVs. The automotive industry is highly competitive, and maintaining a competitive edge is crucial for success. Jim Farley's refusal to switch over to EVs entirely allows Ford to differentiate itself from competitors who may be solely focusing on EVs. By offering a diverse range of vehicles, Ford can appeal to a broader customer base including those who have not yet fully embraced EV technology. This strategy enables Ford to carve out a unique position in the market and cater to customers' varying needs and preferences, ensuring continued competitiveness in the industry. Jim Farley's refusal to switch over entirely to EVs demonstrates a genius reasoning that encompasses a wide range of strategic considerations. By supporting a balanced approach, maintaining competitiveness, leveraging government support, seizing market opportunities, building brand trust, and supporting the transition ecosystem. Ford can navigate the complex dynamics of the automotive industry with foresight and adaptability. This approach allows the company to capitalize on existing strengths while gradually transitioning towards a more sustainable and electrified future, ensuring long-term success in a rapidly changing market. Thank you for sticking with me until the end. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and be sure you turn on the notification bell so you don't miss a video. Until our next meeting, I'll see you later.